guys, hello and welcome to our next episode of Vlogmas. A very exciting one today. We are in the car and we are heading off to a tree farm to pick a Christmas tree. Finally getting around to doing the fun tree in the kitchen, which I've been so looking forward to. So that's on the agenda. Tom's picked up his new camera. What is it? If anyone's interested, Fuji Film. Yeah. Is that it? Just Fuji Film. XT5. T5. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna head there now. I've just popped it in the sat nav and it's only, well, it's not far for us at all. So we're going to a place called Ivy Cottage Tree Farm. Never been there before. Hopefully, fingers crossed it'll be good. We'll have to let you know after we've been. It's dog friendly as well, so we've got Barney in the back. No idea how we're gonna transport a tree on Barney, but we'll manage, we'll fit it in. It's only a small one we want to get anyway um, for in there. So yeah, let's go pick a Christmas tree. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow that is way too tall. It would fit though. What do we do? Do we go for a massive tall one? That one's nice over there. Keep going, keep walking. We basically, oh, Barney. <laughs> I can't wait, there's a tree in front of me. <laughs> Tommy. Um, we're having a look around. I think, yeah, that's really thick. It's nice, isn't it? It's, it's very tall. Is that what we, I'm, I was thinking more like, um, hmm, height wise, like that one next to the pole. That's tiny. Yeah. Well lost. Okay, well we could, we're basically just limited to the width because we're having it where the old olive tree is. So we're gonna put it there. It's quite a narrow space by the time you've got the doors open. We were looking at phrases we like. These are spruces. Oh. And then the other one is the the one that we don't like or we don't want. Can't remember, but it's really fine. Norway. Norway. Um so yeah, we want bushy, thick, tall. Let's keep hunting. We get to pick our own or we can pick one from the pre-picked. Doesn't really matter. I feel like when they're out like this that you've got an idea as to what they're gonna look like. Whatever we do, we will be alright. These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you We're back. We have our new tree. I don't know, oh, I felt a bit pressured, I'm not gonna lie. We, I think we looked at about three and this is the one we went for. So hopefully she'll look good. I think we're gonna just cut off some of the um, very bottom ones just so that we can fit some prezzies underneath and a nice tree skirt. Over this corner, we've got our other little setup, which obviously the olive tree and little mini Ikea tree that we've moved just over here for now. I don't mind the setup actually. We just moved Barney's toy basket so he doesn't knock over the tree just over there. And yeah, the mirror's obviously moved a little bit across. I can always move that back a bit, but we'll see, we'll see how it looks once the tree is in situ. We need a name. So let's get our thinking brains together. We need a name for this tree. We've obviously got Balsam Hill one through here, Bruce the Spruce, as we like to call him. So I feel like together with Bruce, we need a female name. And I feel like she's a bit more slender. I feel like I need to put the lights on actually. She's a bit more slender. She's a Fraser fur, and 
she's gonna be Bruce's girlfriend. So, we need a name. We need a name for, we've got Bruce's Bruce. What can we have for the other tree? We also went via Gales. And I got myself a mocha. Mocha chocolate. A what? Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah. Nice little mocha. I did get a salad. Are you bring it in now? Oh yeah, ready to go. I just feel like you might be better off cutting off the branches outside maybe, at the bottom. I'm just checking that you know what to do. He's looking at me like, enough now. Stop talking. <laughs> Let me do my thing. Um, went on a run this morning. Got our running gear here. Also, Tommy, we need to put the water in the stand, yeah? So we need to get base. It's all about their base. You helping daddy? Yeah. Are we ready? Bigger than I thought we were going to be here. Probably uh, move it more forward away from the wall so that it drops completely. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit sparser here, so that might be better off at the back. Right, see you in a few hours. So it's the next day, we have let her be, just set a little bit. I'm gonna start with doing the lights now um, because yeah, it's a new day and it's already not getting dark but it's gonna start getting dark soon because this morning I've just been manic running around. So um, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna get the lights on for now and then I've got a few decorations out of which I'll show you a couple that I actually just picked up this morning. I've basically just been doing some manic Christmas shopping, like a couple of last bits that I wanted to get. And whilst I was in Selfridges Trap Center, there were a couple of baubles and stuff in there that I thought I would pick up for the fun tree. I've seen that Jelly Cat are doing their Jelly Cat bunnies and other decorations as well for the tree. So I thought I'd pick up this one just because I thought this one was the cutest. So soft. Um, so let me just preface this by saying these are Selfridges baubles. They are not cheap. <laughs> Special jelly cats. I think their baubles range from sort of like 10 to 20 pounds. Um, so they're the sort of ones, in my opinion anyway, that you just get like one as a one-off rather than getting a few to, to use. But yeah, we've got quite a few fun baubles already, but the fun additions that I decided to pick up from Selfridges are the jelly cat one. This one's got quite a few dog themed baubles and this cute little dog house I just thought was so festive and we're gonna have quite a few reds thrown in, thrown in in and amongst this tree and then the other one which I thought would be quite good and ones that I kind of look out for especially are so you know like if we go somewhere um, and it's actually got the name of 
wherever it is on it, whether it be a specific farm shop, a place we visited, a shop, a brand. So this one obviously says Selfridges and they had quite a few different designs for the Selfridges branded ones. They had the little handbags in yellow. They had little taxis, like not taxis. There was like a, I was torn between this one and a black car with the Selfridges bag on top of it. Now I just got this bottle of champagne, silver and gold. So yeah, fun little few decorations to pop on. But let's start by popping on the lights. Oh, also I've got these command hooks, which you'll see me do. I'm going to pop two wreaths that I've got from Sainsbury's on each of the crystal doors and we've moved the olive tree over to the other corner so we've got that corner lit up that corner lit up once the lights are on that tree and then the wreaths in the middle I feel like the symmetry will work quite nicely so yeah I just got these little command hooks for that so let's start with the lights let's get them on So I've just come across this as well, this gorgeous advent calendar, which I know we haven't used as an advent calendar, but even as decorative, love it. And it's in this lovely linen fabric. Um, so it's from a company called Magic Linen, Month of Magic. And I'm thinking, I wasn't sure whether to put it near the tree or in the middle here. And I feel like in future we'll have some kind of maybe wall light or artwork there. Um, so for now, I thought this could kind of go in the middle there. We'll see what it looks like. I'll just use one of those command hooks so that if I don't like it there, we can always reposition it. And then I'm also going to pop up again with these, those wreaths there and there. I've just got the window, uh, the window, the door open for a sec just to let in some fresh air. Because I'm getting quite warm doing this. This is how we're looking so far. We've got the olive tree lights on, the two wreaths, the advent calendar, and our tree with the lights. And obviously, as you can see in the mirror, you can see the reflection of the lights of the olive tree as well. So I think it works really well. Also, this table garland is the matching one to the wreaths all from Sainsbury's. Hey, I'm so excited to decorate it. We still need a name, guys. Have you? Pop your comments below of what she can be called. And this is my selection of baubles for this tree. How exciting for the fun tree. Just something a little bit different to the other glam kind of glitzy one in the other room. I wanted to go more novelty, fun. So I'm gonna run through very quickly where all of these from um, are from, just in case any of you are interested, and at least I'll try and remember anyway. But these three, as you've just seen from Selfridges, all of these ones here and here are from Sustrine Green. We've got some Habitat Sainsbury's little filler felt stars. These Wellington boots are from Next. These two linen ones are also from Magic Linen where I got the linen um, advent calendar from. We've got this, which was a little freebie that came, I've got another color actually somewhere. There's probably a few baubles missing actually that I'll come across and if I do, I will show you where they're from as well. But it's from a brand called Peggy, I think you call it, and it, they do like um, slippers and boots and stuff, and they included a little free mitten, so I'm gonna pop that on the tray. This is a Dellsford Farm Sheep. We've got this, I think, is from b and I think this one is too. It's either B&M or Home Bargains. I know this is from Home Bargains though. We've also got some more Sainsbury's chocolates to go on the tree. This bow, I believe, was from 
oh, home scents, I want to say. These are from Photo Bubble, little cute uh, personalized decorations. We've got this little Barney treat bag, which I thought if we're having chocolates on the train, maybe we could just pop a little treat bag of his on there as well. No treats in it, because otherwise he might pull the whole thing down. But um, I think that, that was just from like a PR package a couple of years ago. Um, little Barney the dinosaur is from Home Sense. We've got a little winter candle. I'm not sure that might be a bit too heavy to pop on the tree, but we'll see. And then these two are from Hobby Craft. I love this little lettuce to Santa beige and gold little box. We've got the Christmas wishes. Oh, again, where's that from? I want to say B&M again or Home Bargains. And then we've got some paper decorations, just a mixture of these from like Ikea wooden ones as well. We've got some Zara Home bits. This little golden retriever is Zara Home and the car. And these are Zara Home as well. I popped the little photo um, that we got at the Santa Paws at John Lewis this year. And I've got a couple of more black and white photos that I just need to print out, which I want to pop in the other two. A little Slytherin and Gryffindor hat, seen as though Harry Potter, Christmas, love it. And then this little like, wooden one which my mum got us last year I think it was was it last year um and then this little bear cute bear from M&S M&S 2023 so this is the Spencer bear this year and then we've got a selection of Neptune ones as well the felt animals that you've probably seen in a vlog not too long ago and the little penny van so yeah that's my little selection like I said if I come across any more which I probably will do then I will be sure to keep posted on those but for now let's get all of these on the tree So what do we think guys? She's cute, right? With a little bow on top. So yeah, that I'm actually quite glad I've got as much red as I have because it definitely adds that pop of festive color. And then there's a few greens in there. Oh, I'm so happy. This winter candle, I did just take out. I'm gonna pop it in the downstairs loo to burn because it was too heavy to pop on. But I thought, oh, the box is kind of cute and it is a bauble, so. We'll leave it on the tree for now anyway. Which is your favorite decoration of them all? I really like the Wellington boots. I don't know why, I just, I'm drawn to them. It's the first time I've been able to decorate with it because last year obviously we didn't have the tree. I've just noticed that little photo has just slipped down so I'll just sort that out. But yay, I do quite like the new Selfridges woof as well. But yeah, I think that's my favorite, the Wellington boots from next. Oh, or the golden retriever from Zara home. <laughs> I can't decide, I can't decide, I like them all. Um, so the only thing to go on now is some chocolates. Did anyone else grow up with chocolates on the train? I feel like the Cadbury's ones are a classic. I couldn't find any Cadbury's, so we're gonna go with the Sainsbury's ones, but 
if I do find some Capri's ones, I'll probably have one too. Yeah, just lots of light. I mean, that's, this is giving 90s nostalgia, right? Anyone else that grew up in that era? I just feel like that is so, like such a throwback. It's quite warm in here though. I'm hoping that these aren't gonna drop. We'll tie them on tightly and hope they don't melt. <laughs> This makes me so happy, so, so happy. And just like that, we've got a new backdrop, a new filming place. I just think that is so festive, so cute. And yeah, really, really happy with my finished tree. So name suggestions for her in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed coming to the Christmas tree farm and decorating my fun tree with me. Let me know if you guys have a fun tree as well. It was such a luxury being able to have a second tree to just play around and do whatever I want with. So yeah, let me know if you are in that position too. Let me know which is your favourite bauble. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing today. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.